Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more Urban Empire in Profsburg. We are going for our first ever medium density district as soon as the council approves it. Going to deliberately work ourselves into a deficit and then we are going to increase taxes so that I might start expanding some services to multiple different districts. Probably starting with a lot of the industrial districts and trying to get some gas infrastructure going. We do have a lot of money in the bank, thankfully, despite the fact that our surplus has been reduced to practically nothing. Uh, and that money in the bank will allow me to s increase the infrastructure and pay those upfront costs pretty easily. So I'm not too worried about it. Whoa! What happened there? All of a sudden, our monthly balance just took a crap. All right, the bridge. A new railroad bridge has been built. But can this bridge actually withstand the weight of a train? A member of the conservative party, Josef Weintrinker, I don't know, has publicly ridiculed the project, saying the bridge will collapse. I trust the engineers. Being an engineer myself, I am predisposed to trusting them. Some weeks later, a heavy storm caused damage in the city, but the bridge remains unaffected. Newspapers have lately published several positive articles about the bridge project. Security services for all citizens goes up, which is nice. Modify the district, begin the vote. And of course, the worse our deficit is, the better we are going to do as far as making sure the city council improves our taxes. And that passed, so at the end of the month, we're going to see we are now losing a frick ton of money. Telephone is done, though. The bathtub, blah, 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 don't care about that. We have now got access to public libraries, which increases education. Telephone for cer sales of certain industries. Banking, police call box if we need some more security. And telephone line, which is a new grid, which we are not going to hook up because it's very expensive for not a lot of gain. All right, for new technology. Um... Could, let's see, I want to, imp I need to, I need to keep improving sales more than anything else. Um, kind of wondering if the improved health would be a good thing for us. Not sure if I want to build a central hospital right now. Aluminum, or sorry, aluminium, because this is a European game. Sales of certain industries, again, railroad level crossing. An upgrade for the railroad station could be really good, actually. Let's go for aluminium. It's really called aluminum. I'm an American. I will always call it alumini uh, aluminum. That's, that's just that's just how it's supposed to be. I know the suffix is nothing like literally everything else, but originally, it was aluminum. It was alumina as a. Uh, it, it, yeah, it was it was aluminum, and someone basically pointed out, oh no, it should be aluminium like everything else, plutonium and stuff like that, eum, 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 and they changed it. But the United States is all like, no, we're already calling it aluminum. We're not changing. You can't make us. That's, that's how we did it. Let's go ahead and propose some new taxes. Everyone will be very much in favor of this. We're going to increase the business tax and the personal tax a little bit. This one actually affects the council far more. Interesting. They are far less inclined to improve the personal tax, the citizen tax. This is how much they think I can do. I would get 142000 raising the uh, business tax up just a couple points. 3%. It's a lot of money. Hmm, I think this is all I can realistically expect to get right now, so let's go ahead and do this. This increases my funding by 182000 per month. Propose. Done. By the way, notice that Smithmere at night now has lighting, thanks to the gas infrastructure and all of that stuff. So we look a lot better down here. We'd like to start getting that in all of our uh, cities, but or districts, but we'll see. Hey, look! Our first medium-density building is being constructed. Wow, it just rose out of the ground. That's really impressive, actually. Mixed building. Building density. It's a cafe, and it has 30 residents living inside of it. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Pretty darn cool. And of course, because it has 30 residents instead of, like, 5, they'll start paying me a lot more in taxes. The more of those we get, uh, the better. Notice, by the way, the commercial dam demand is going up quite a bit, so I'm glad that I've been building some districts with a lot more commercial in it. Still losing a lot of money here, though. Need to raise up those taxes, guys. Need to do it. Can't delay. There we go. Begin the vote. It is going to win very soundly. We're still going to have a very slight deficit, but it won't be too bad, honestly. So we increase taxes by about 3% on pretty much everybody. And we should see then. Now we have a surplus. I take it back. I thought we were going to run out of money entirely. Let's go to Darlington. Modify the district. Infrastructure. And let's add in some gas. It's going to cost 12000 per month to do so, but it will increase sales. Don't think there's much point in doing gas streetlights, given the fact that nobody lives here. So improving the physical environment and the security is not necessarily a priority for me. Let's go ahead and confirm this. Propose. Ah, uh, you know what? I could use my quicken vote, or our personal funds. 
Now, we still have 62 million in the bank. Let's just go ahead and have the city vote do it. Getting a little bit of a surplus coming in now. That's good, as we start filling out some of these districts. Uh, and Smithmere doesn't have a lot of medium density, but they're starting to build some more, so eventually it'll pay for itself, eventually. Modify district, begin vote. Let's go ahead and improve our industrial sales and demand significantly, please. All right, that's now done. Good. So we should start seeing uh, these guys sell a lot more money, which I think means we are going to get a lot more taxes. Let's go to Rainsford next. We'll modify this district, infrastructure, add in some gas, and confirm, propose, quick and vote as usual. We're up to 50 brain power, by the way, so we're starting to charge through some of these techs a lot faster than we were before. Successful business in Edgeworth, a funeral parlor. I am going to give them an honorary award. Sales demand for all funeral parlors reduced by 10%. And the personal growth for anyone who works in that building goes up by 5. Aluminium. A French scientist has made a historic discovery and found a cheap way to produce aluminium. As the city administration has been looking into it, they're excited about the possibilities of using aluminium in different places should they focus on usage in the railroad, making city parks more pleasant, or playgrounds. But we don't have playgrounds right now. Uh, city parks, that could be good as far as improving the physical environments, but to be honest, as we upgrade the um, gas infrastructure in all of my residential districts, we're going to start seeing that skyrocket regardless. I'm going to say usage in the railroad, because I would like our railroad to operate better and cheaper. So let's go ahead and do that. Change in upgrade cost. Actually, that was probably not the best choice now that I think about it. I was hoping it was going to reduce our monthly cost associated with the railroad. The upfront cost doesn't bother me that much. I mean, yeah, 20% reduction might save me a million failures, but I've got 63 million in the bank. So that may not have been the best choice, now that I think about it. Trouble with the conservatives. Uh, the Free Democratic Party dislikes the conservatives. I'm going to try to help them find some common ground. And as a result, the physiocrats and the Free Democratic Party like each other better. And again, partisanship goes down, which means, basically, that parties are not going to vote against something just because their enemies like it. Basically is what it means. They're actually going to be a bit more neutral and objective as they pursue voting in the council. Modify the district to begin the vote. Upgrade the infrastructure, please. Please and thank you. Done. Good. We're almost done with the women's rights to own property. That'll be good. Uh, and if we go to Aldbro, let's just go ahead and upgrade this one as well. We might as well just do it all while I'm thinking about it, right? And actually, I'm kind of surprised. Let's cancel our changes real quick. I'm surprised that they don't have any traffic issues. They do. Okay, so we definitely need to upgrade the roads at the same time. Uh, let's modify. Whoops. Modify the district. Crap. Hit the wrong button again. There we go. Infrastructure. Cobblestone roads. Gas. Confirm. Propose. Quick and vote. There we go. Trying to boost up our industry as much as we are able to. Make them strong. Uh, if we can just fill out a few more buildings, I actually will fill this area out with a new district. I think that could be worthwhile. Right to own property for women, and it will pass in a landslide vote. Good. More state laws done, more brain power for me. And this should improve the social life of all women substantially. They demand a lot more, but we provide a heck of a lot more. So that's excellent. More state laws done. Law allowing women to own property passed. A controversial new law according women the right to own all types of property was passed today. The law, which effectively, which is effective immediately, allows women to own property including joint te uh, tenancies, sole ownerships, and community holdings. The development has garnered condemnation from male business owners. Pro-women's rights campaigners are calling it the sweetest development since marmalade. Philanthropist Dora Brown, 56, called the development a landmark in the nature, uh, sorry, nurture and retention of human potential. The last Tasmanian dies? Oh, wow, the last of the Arab Aboriginal people. Ooh, that's kind of sad. First woman awarded a university degree! Yay! Pro uh, sorry, modify district. Eh, we'll do something else. <clears throat> Why is my brain not working well today? I had my morning coffee. I don't know. It just seems a little bit weird. We lost a lot of money somehow. But we have, once again, increased commercial and residential demand. Have we filled out this district? Not quite, so I'm not going to build anything new until this is done. Let's take a quick look, see. How are we looking as far as medium density buildings? We've got a few apartments, it looks like. Yes, and this has 60 people living inside of it. Good lord. 45 here. Uh, 45 there as well. We're getting there. We're definitely getting more people. So it's going to take a long time, but eventually this district should improve significantly. Hmm. 
Well, what else is there for me to do right now besides continue to upgrade certain infrastructures? Aluminium is done, which means certain industries are improved. Railroad level crossing, we can upgrade an institution. That sounds like a good thing to do. Hmm. Don't think we need better roads quite yet. Though we definitely should pay attention to that. Fire station could be good. I think I'm going to go for representation rights, though. And see if some of these edicts might be able to improve things for me a little bit. Let's go for representation rights. It's only going to take 28 months in order to research it. We're definitely getting faster and faster as time goes on, which I like. All right. Take a look at the districts. Traffic is more or less okay everywhere, so that's good. Uh, let's take a look at the railroad. We want to upgrade it, right? Upgrade. Doop. It's going to cost me a million failures to build, but it improves the security of the entire city. Eh, all right. Let's go ahead and assign it. I mean, a million failures for plus two security. It's not the most important thing in the world, but it's not bad. Certainly, it's not going to hurt, right? So, yeah. Just go ahead and do that. Upgrade. Begin the vote. We are still making a profit, so... I mean, we're doing okay financially. Could do better, but we're doing okay. And... Security goes up to seven. I was kind of expecting a little bit better than that, but okay. I mean, what's happening here is not that the, the average security goes up. It just means that the provided went up by two. Which, by the way, demand is 23, provided is 21. I'm kind of surprised that we're not at like a nine. For average, but oh well. So we definitely want to continue improving the physical environment and the health and the fun of our entire city. Because right now, that's lacking a little bit. And the happier people are, the better the city tends to perform overall. So why don't we go to, I don't know, let's say Farnham. Modify the district and let's start upgrading some infrastructure. I'm going to add in some gas. We already have sewers here, actually. So let's just go ahead and build out the decorated gas lights, improve the physical environment and the security of the district by three and two, respectively. It only costs me 10,000 failures per month to do so. Anything else I want to build? We could build out something like a public library which improves personal growth even more, although we're kind of close to cap, so I don't think that's a very high priority. Um, alternatively, more parks, I suppose. We could do that. Eh. Eh, I mean, we could. Doesn't seem very important to me. No, let's just go ahead and upgrade the infrastructure. Let's use our personal funds as well and just make it done. There we go. Now we have gas lights there. All right, next, um... Let's go to Hackthorn, Modify, Infrastructure, Gas, Upgrade that, Add in Water, Upgrade Sewers, Confirm. And again, if we run ourselves into a deficit, then all I'm going to do is just raise taxes. Because at this point, we've grown the city a lot, so it's really just about taxes at this point. Not getting too high, right, because we want people to upgrade to medium density, but... You know, at the same time, as I provide more services, I legitimately do need to charge people more for what they're getting. Modify district. Everyone will be in support of this, as they should be. As they dang well should be. Done. Thank you. Let's take a look at the edicts. We haven't looked at those in a while. So, available edicts. We could do the financial aid. Did we ever confirm? Hang on. We never did check how much it costs for a clinic in comparison. Place services. Clinic. 19,000 per month to increase health by seven in one area. So if I look at edicts then, available, financial aid for running water, improves the health of the entire city by one, costs 10,000. So is it better to spend 10,000 to get the entire city by one, or is it better to spend 19,000 to get a concentrated area of seven? I'm really not sure that this is that much better. I mean, it, it could be done, but I'm not sure we need to. It's also going to be kind of a hard sell to a lot of the parties. Let's see if there's anything better. City curfew, improves security, loitering ban, reduces fun. Work Safety Act, requires more sales, don't like it. Alcohol licensing, sports clubs, improves health, doesn't cost much, just 5,000. Okay, improving the health of all of our youth is okay with me. Let's go ahead and support sports clubs. Pretty cheap way to improve our health a little bit. Just a little bit. Secret message. You receive a mysterious envelope containing a blank sheet of paper. You assume it's a mistake and go to burn it. However, when the paper comes near to the flames, letters appear. It's written in invisible ink. You warm the paper a bit more and read the message. If you support an independent Sorelia, join us. Meet behind the church Thursday at midnight. 
what now? Probably a hoax, or you can't say no to an adventure like this. Ooh. So I'm kind of worried that this is like, you know, if we do this, someone will catch us on camera and the mayor will be scandalized, but I'm kind of curious. If I were playing as the Von Filtsons, I would say it's a hoax, but because we're playing as a Kill Ganon, let's try it. We are gullible. Just a few days later, you find out who sent the message. Well, then what happened? Anything interesting? Oh, wait. Okay, here we go. Secret Society. On Thursday night, you go to the des designated meeting place. Was it wise to trust an unsigned letter? However, two young men appear dressed in black cloaks and ask you to come with them. You follow them to a house in Smithmere, where you learn that they belong to a secret society called the Yellow Lodge. The Lodge wants to separate Sorelia from the Empire. It's rung by young nobles who don't want their families to know they'd be supporting anti-Empire politics. You think you'd be a powerful ally. Do I join the society? Yes, no, or it needs to stop. I'm going to join a secret society. And as a result, the personal growth of Smithmere increases. You've never, remember, you've never heard of this. We never had this conversation. They might ask for my help someday. Well, here's the thing. I know for a fact that eventually Sorelia is going to get independence. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, just, sort of, I'm just sort of playing with a little bit of future knowledge. We might as well support it, right? It's going to happen eventually. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade some more districts. Kilbro, modify, infrastructure, gas, activate, gas street lights, water, and sewers. Add. Again, increasing the running cost quite a bit, but let's go ahead and confirm. Propose, quick and vote. Done. I'm okay with running myself into a deficit if you want to, council. Doesn't really bother me too much. Young Cerulean Party once again wins the elections. Still have not filled out this district, so I'm not going to build anything new. City Council is ready to support the sports clubs. Let's begin to vote. Shouldn't be too hard. There we go. And health for all youth goes up. Sort of surprised we're not getting any more industrial demand. I feel like we need more. Modify the district. Begin the vote. Hmm. What can I do to try and improve industrial demand? I'm already trying to improve some services to boost sales. I mean, I could, the only thing I can think to do here is, one, adding water boosts certain companies. It's not bad. It's, it's okay. We don't need a sewer system, but water pipes are all right. Electricity also boosts certain companies. This costs a lot more, though. And then the telephone line also costs a lot of money. Boosts companies. Personal growth. I mean, I guess the only thing I can think to do right now for cheap is to start upgrading the water pipes. We could add those into our industrial districts as well. And that might be okay, maybe. For now, though, why don't we keep worrying about... Well, I get most of my money from companies, that's the thing. Not necessarily from residential areas. So, I think I actually will try it. Let's try it in Darlington. Let's modify the district, infrastructure, add in water pipes. It costs me 10000 per month. I don't really care that much about the physical and health, but it's certainly not a bad thing. It costs a lot of money up front, but it's relatively cheap per month. And if we can boost the companies and increase my income that way, I'm okay with it. So let's give it a shot. Whoop, now we're running a deficit. And it's getting worse. It's getting a lot worse. I know nothing of Representation rights, rights are done. Rights. Livelihood Act. Older women's Human income. Rights. Secret ballot voting. Confidential for all government elections. Book publishing. The courthouse is a new institution. Law. Class barriers. And women's rights in school. Okay. Well, now that we have representation rights, um... Society has become so complex that only educating the elite no longer seems to be enough. But the more education regular people receive, the more they also seem to demand a say in their everyday matters. Representation rights are a hot topic, and your city administration is trying to predict the questions they should have to answer when they arise. Should votes be secret? Uh, it sounds like this is just going to go straight to one of the edicts I just unlocked. So which one do we want? I don't have a choice anymore. We could improve personal growth for all citizens... Citizens are more likely to vote for, well, just more, more likely to vote in general, it looks like, and security goes up. We're okay in security and personal growth, so I'm not sure this is a priority. Women? Personal growth of women? Personal growth from grammar schools, high schools, and vocational schools. Again, it's a personal growth thing. Or, it's important that only enlightened people vote? Lower, cl lower class barriers. Oh, I'm sorry. I assumed this lowered the class barriers and made it more accessible to the uh, lower classes. No, what we're actually doing is barring lower classes from voting. 
So security for the lower class goes down, security for the workers, middle class, and elites go up. Yeah, that doesn't sound like something I want. I mean, I like the idea of doing both of these. They're both okay. They're not super important. I, can, I mean, I can always do both later. Let's go for votes should be secret. Everyone agrees with this one. I think we're going to actually vote on this immediately. Well, that's interesting. All right, let's go ahead and vote. This should improve the security and personal growth of everybody. Huzzah. Done. All right. So now that we're running a deficit, do I want to try raising taxes a little bit? Yeah. Probably. If we overtax, then one of the parties will just say, hey, we'd like to reduce it a little bit. And I'll go with it if that's the case. We could raise up. Neither of them is very popular, to be honest. Maybe we shouldn't. The council doesn't seem very pleased with the idea. Mm, yeah, let's, let's not worry about taxes right now. It's probably going to bounce back. If it goes much lower, then I can try voting on it, and I'll definitely pass it. Need a new technology. We could go for combustion. We could go for communication advances. Typewriters increases sales in all industries, which you all know I love. Movie production. That sounds fun. Symbolism to theaters. Shops closed on Sundays. Ban obscene comics. Bookstore. Movie theater. Post office. That's another personal growth thing. Also social life, I think. I like the idea of uh, improving sales in all industries, so let's go ahead and start the research on communication advances. As always, the most important thing to do is to make sure your industry is nice and strong so that you can generate a lot of revenue. Modify district. Begin the vote. Try to add some water into industry and see what it does for us. Of course, it's going to reduce our deficit even further, which concerns me a little bit. Yeah, fair bit, actually. There we go. All right. The Yellow Lodge. It has been months since you joined the Yellow Lodge, and you've heard nothing from them. Now another letter arrives. This time you know to read the Invisible Ink. One of the Lodge members went on a secret mission to Vienna, you read, but she got into trouble and was imprisoned. The money Lodge needs money. So spend 20,000 failures of my personal funds. Sure, why not? I am honest. Good. And citizens are apparently far, far more likely to vote for the National and Young Sorellian parties. Wow, that's a huge increase. 50? Well, that pretty much destroys the physiocrats and the Free Democratic Party. They're gone. Wow. All right. Well, <clears throat> Water Pollution Act. Yes, another state law. All right. This will improve the physical environment and the brain power. Definitely going to support this one. Now, this one's actually a little bit tighter, interestingly enough. Deputies concerned about water pollution. New laws on the way. Many members of the Imperial Council have voiced their concern about the state of the nation's water supply. Many industries have been dumping poisonous liquids and lead into the water for years, and their effects are beginning to show in our children. The liberal right is opposing these laws, saying that they will only restrict our company's natural growth, but the markets will guide the companies without restrictive norms. Yeah, we're not going to go with that one. So, okay. Um... Definitely want to pass that. Let's take a quick look-see and see if we can persuade some parties. Right now, actually, it looks like it's going to be okay. I mean, the Free Democratic Party doesn't like it, but they're technically on the positive side of the swing vote. As long as everyone is on this side and all we need is a simple majority, I think we will be okay. God's Wrath. Whatever the prop uh, proposition, big or small, you can guarantee that Simeon von Filtzen will oppose it. He claims that your son's mental state is the price you paid to the devil to rise from the lower class to become major... Sorry, Mayor, and on other days, the deal with the devil is the reason others support your causes. On any normal day, you can disregard his ramblings, but on the day that you hear your wife is pregnant again, you lose your temper for the first time. Will you, while deeply regretting your outburst later on, how did you respond? <laughs> At least I'm blessed with an heir, unlike some. At least I'm blessed with someone whom to love. It's hard to take any of your accusations seriously. So do I give him the low blow and say, Ha! You don't have a child! Do I say, at least I have someone I love, as opposed to your marriage of convenience? At least I'm blessed that I love somebody! I love my son, even though he has serious problems. Simeon Volden Filson bursts out laughing at your petty outburst. However, after a while he noticed he's the only one laughing, at e as even his closest aides stopped when they noticed that most of the council members see the truth in your words. Insulted by the other party's reaction, he swears he'll get you back sooner or later. I'm soft? That doesn't sound like a soft thing to say at all. All right, Goodwill reduced, ooh, for the Physiocratic Party and eventually the Christian Democratic Party, which is coming up very soon, in like Era 3 or something like that. All right, well, that's interesting. We are not making much money at all right now. How are we looking as far as our district? We did fill this out. That's good. Darlington, 
seems to be doing okay. Do we finish out the district over here? Oh, by the way, notice that we are getting a lot more medium density here now. Uh, Smithmere, are you getting capped out on infrastructure? Or, um, I mean to say, traffic. They're actually doing really well, shockingly. Huh. Kilborough is having a little trouble, though. Probably should look to upgrading that fairly soon. Okay, let's go ahead and modify. Infrastructure. Upgrade the roads. Confirm. Propose. Use personal funds. Get it done now, because I don't feel like waiting. So, still not done with this stupid district. Gosh dang it. I think we need to start opening up some more industrial districts. I don't think we can afford to wait forever. We did fill this one out. I mean, granted, we don't have any demand, but it'll be okay. Let's go ahead and propose a new district. It'll be something kind of like this. Kind of like this. There we go. Perfect. Let's do a sparse grid, like so. Cost me a fair bit of money up front, but I think it'll be fine. We will do a purely industrial zone, like so. Confirm. Done, done, done. I'm not going to use my personal funds this time. Let's go ahead and spend some more city money. Gosh, dang. All right, this actually might be a perfect opportunity to raise taxes again. With enough of a deficit, they might be inclined to agree. So let's propose some taxing. They are sort of inclined to agree, but not by much. They're much more okay with a little bit of citizen taxing. I can get 2% more citizen tax. Let's go ahead and approve that. It's not going to get me a ton of money, but it's worth a shot. And again, the important thing is to initiate the vote when you have a deficit, a pretty large deficit. Because even if we go to a surplus now, what's going to end up happening is they will vote on how the city was when the vote was initiated, not its current state. So, I think we'll be okay. New district, begin the vote. Of course they support it, as they well should. I'm going to go ahead and get some more industry making me some money, hopefully. And communication advances. Modern communications are transforming the world as we know it. Of all the inventions of the last few decades, the one that most captures the population's imagination is the ability to capture real life in motion pictures. The city administration is pondering how this will affect city life. They can better educate people, they can lift their spirits, or the typewriter will have a bigger impact. Um... I'm going to say that they lift the spirits. I think that'll improve the social life, whereas this one will improve the personal growth. And no, actually, it improves the fun, which is even better. All right, I like that idea. So now movie theaters are going to be doing a lot more fun for us, uh, which is great, by the way. This goes back to what I have been saying in the previous video, that private industry is actually able to fill some of the needs of your city over time. So because there's going to be a high demand for fun, that should increase the demand for theater buildings, or uh, movie theaters specifically, as a form of entertainment. So hopefully this will go up on its own as the free market demands more movie theaters. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, though. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I, as always, will see you guys next time.